Yo, what up everyone, it's Survivor Tribe 2. There is a new Pokemon Sword and Shield trailer out. Okay, so pretty much on this day in 2016, Mega Kangaskhan was revealed at Worlds, the whole Pokemon tournament. So people have been anticipating there might be a trailer today, and there is. But not to get your hopes up, because in 2016, for Sun and Moon, all they revealed was Crab Brawler. But it seems like they're keeping the tradition and actually revealing something. So let's see what this is. We got Prepare for Battle in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Let's go, let's see this. Okay, they're just gonna social show some BS in the beginning. Yeah, we've seen this. Alright, Dynamaxing. Gameplay in this footage is not final. New battle strategies! Okay, double battles. Okay, so this is for tournaments. Weezing's ability, neutralizing gas. All other abilities get neutralized. What? It's an automatic gastro acid. Okay. But that's what Mold Breaker and stuff is. And Levitate goes away. Okay. Okay, dude. But he loses levitate. New, wait, hold on. I want levitate on that. It's a new item. New held item room service. What? What does it do? Lowers the Pokemon speed during trick room. Oh, so you're guaranteed to be slow so that you go first. Hey, that's a good animation. Eject pack. Yo, they're introducing some competitive stuff. If the, the Pokemon switches out, if stats are lower. <gasps> yeah, he used Draco Meteor. He switched out himself. The opponent doesn't have to do it. New move, Breaking Swipe. Lowers the attack of all targets hit. Okay, is it probably a Dragon move. Corviknight's hidden ability, Mirror Armor. A Reflect? Reflects any stat luring. Okay, it's it's a different kind of magic bounce. Dynamax power. Shrug off moves that cause flinching. Okay, you're so giant you can't flinch. Max moves have powerful secondary effects. Okay. I think we've seen this in the demo. Electric train and stuff. That's pretty rude. Oh, yeah, yeah, so attacks rise and stuff. And s some of them cause terrain effects. Yeah, icy. It hails. I'm like, is there an icy terrain? Oh, look, there's Frostlass. And getting a Galarian for that, we know we wouldn't. So they introduced a bunch of competitive stuff. I think that's it. Alright, that's it. So they just released competitive stuff. For this that's pretty good that's the ability they're hiding from wheezing and all we have neutralizing gas all right let's just go to the site <gasps> someone said wheezing's ability is super broken imagine that paired with something like slacking or regigigas that's so true if you sent this out and instead of rotom you had slacking beside you madur would be a legendary he wouldn't have truant i think i think there's boundaries if not then slacking just not gonna be in the game <laughs> Yo, everyone's talking about that. Galarian Weezing comes out. Slacking. For some strange reason, I don't feel lazy anymore. Clissapot. And my health is getting low, but I don't feel like going back to my Pokeball. Doug Dimidome slaughters innocent bug ghost. <laughs> Imagine watching a Pokemon battle in a stadium, and then suddenly this big-ass hand drops. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's just take a look on the site. They didn't even update it. Lazy-ass. So here's a couple examples. Water Dynamax moves trigger. The rain effect. Fighting increases attack. Just like when you're guarding against the Z-move, if you use Protect, a max move can still do some damage. Probably 25% just like Z-moves. This is the new ability, Neutralizing Gas. Neutralizes the effects of all Pokemon on the field. It would fix Slacking because what this is, is it's the ability. It's like the super ability version of Gaster Acid that just totally gets rid of your ability. That is really overpowered. That's worth losing Levitate for. But it depends. It works really well for double battles when you have a Pokemon beside you. So in these competitions. But if it's just one-on-one, -on -one, then it just acts like Mold Breaker. And Weezing really won't need it that much if he's alone. He probably should just get Levitate. Because Weezing is Poison Fairy. So his only weakness is Steel, Ground, and Psychic. Give it Levitate and it's not weak to ground. Alright, and the, the two new items. They're really bringing in some items. Room Service and Eject Pack. They're really trying to add some competitive twists. I don't know how useful room service is. Like if I had a Reuniclus and I use Trick Room, do I really need an item to lower my speed just so I can go first? Like I feel like I'd rather give myself like leftovers or something. 
I feel like it's kind of ass. And then eject pack, which is like the eject button, except if anyone lowers your stats, you get to dip. I think with the eject button, someone has to attack you. I don't think you can use like belly drum and it kicks you out. Ooh, they also introduced rank battles. So this was something fun back in X and Y days when we were having fun competitively. So you can put together a team and try to just rank up, fight a bunch of Wi-Fi battles against people. So it's for stuff like this. You don't just have to go to the VGC tournament, like what's happening at Worlds right now. You can try to put together a cool team with the wheezing ability and all to go online like this. Oh, this is pretty cool. Beginner tier all the way up to Master Ball tier. Use rental teams to battle with all sorts of different Pokemon. That's so cool. This is like the battle facility. This was actually my favorite thing in the battle factory. So there's official competitions, which are hosted by Pokemon. Then there's competitions you can do with your friends. And then there's also like a battle factory like thing. I would play the hell out of this. So this person has, oh, okay. So pretty much people upload their teams. So they put a good team and they upload like a Super Mario Maker 2 level and you get an ID. So I could put together a team with Tyranitar and all and then I can upload and you guys can use my team to battle people. We can totally use it as a battle factory. And you can use the rental teams in ranked battles as well. This is really good because a lot of people, they don't want to breed their Pokemon, get the IVs, EV train them and all. That took a huge amount of time in X and Y. I mean like weeks just to put together one team of six Pokemon. You could just get someone's code and get to rank up You don't have, if you don't have much time. All right, that is not bad. That is better than just getting Crab Brawler like we did in 2016. Alright guys, let me know your thoughts on this stuff in the comments. We've got ranked battles, new abilities, new items, a lot of competitive stuff. Hit the like button if you guys enjoy this. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Tweet me stuff on this. I'll respond. We've had a bunch of cool discussions there. But anyways, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace.